My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey, we've got a super slick 37 Ford right here. This is a high-end custom build built by professionals, only 740 miles since done. It's got lots of neat features that I can't wait to tell you all about. If you do visit volocars.com, you can read all this specs, study about 100 photos of the car, and get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. So visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, the top is off. Let's go for a spin in this 37 Roadster. I mean, isn't that just slick? That car is just gorgeous. I'm around cars every day and this thing is just striking. Uh, it's professionally built. In the trunk, I got a three ring binder with a lot of the specs and information. It's real handy. There's a lot of schematics. It tells you how each panel is removed. Um, and it was professionally built. All the receipts that are in there, it's like hot rod shops and all, all professional. Underneath the car is yellow as, as the top side, the frame, uh, the floors, the chassis, the rear end, all of it's the same yellow. It's an original 37 Ford frame. Uh, there's a receipt for it being sandblasted and uh, zinc primered and uh, miscellaneous parts were powder coated. It's been boxed. Uh, the bottom floors are as smooth as this, all painted yellow. Uh, bottom of the motor is chrome, the oil pan, the flywheel cover. It's got a high torque starter. Uh, it's an overdrive automatic transmission with a chrome pan, new aluminum drive shaft, uh, Ford nine inch rear end. Uh, all painted yellow. It's got 31 spline. It's got a posi gears in the back. Uh, Mustang 2 front end with the tubular control arms, uh, rack and pinion steering. Uh, it's got polished coilover adjustable gas shocks at all four corners, front and back. Uh, it's a four link suspension and back with tubular control arms. Uh, nice custom exhaust system. I think they're Flowmaster mufflers, and it actually comes out right through the running board right here, which you'll hear in a minute. We'll start it up. Uh, disc brakes at all four wheels. You know, that whole system's new. Stainless hoses in front, all new brake lines. It has an emergency brake system. Uh, and like I said, discs at all four corners. Uh, the gas tank is a custom fuel tank that's polished like a mirror. Of course, all new fuel lines, all... Everything under the car is new. Every nut, bolt, bracket is new. Uh, the brakes are power. There's a power booster under the car as well. Uh, the body is phenomenal. All the, the gaps are spot on. The finish is smooth as glass. Oh, the flush mount tail lights. And this, this is slick. I really did not see any flaws, damage, cracks, stress cracks. I don't see any of that. It's just slick. Look at how wide them fenders are for them fat tires. They're 17 by eight, I think, in front. They're 20 by 10 in the back. Uh, smooth running boards, nice mirrors. Lift off top, that's like a tan uh, you know, German canvas on there. Uh, two people easily can lift the top on and off. Uh, he has power windows that fit nicely. I, I would do something with this. I would imagine these come out. They would have to. My guys lifted the top off. I don't know if you go inside the trunk to remove these or if these just untwist, but uh, those, I would do something with that. Nice polished grill. It's got the teardrop uh, headlights. I think they're uh, acrylic. They're not glass. Flush mount turn signals. So super slick, obviously. Now I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff. You got remote door poppers. Obviously, they work. You got power trunk. And first time I've seen this, the power hood. Very cool.
So inside the trunk is all boxed and upholstered. It's all ultra leather. It's uh, man-made leather and it's soft, super soft uh, material. It's got this real premium grade carpet with the bound edges, uh, aluminum brackets and hinges, new weather strip. Uh, you put in the fuel right here, comes with this model. But here's the binder with all the uh, information and specs and wiring schematics, all that's right here. The interior is super slick, uh, really sharp looking and very comfortable. The seats are unbelievable, uh, plenty of room. Uh, it's all that ultra leather with a little bit of suede insert, uh, nice door panels. What's really cool is the dash. It's all smooth fiberglass, so is the center console. And the instrumentation is really slick. It's from Dakota Digital uh, Dash, all digital gauges. It's a vintage heat and air system, it's electronic. It's a digital, you know, like in a new Cadillac or something. You want it at 68 degrees, you dial it into 68, so it's digital. Low car shifter. Secret audio system, just a small unit. The speakers are behind the seats, uh, and there's also a remote. It has a deadlock, a deadbolt locks, so the suicide doors don't fly open on you when you're driving. Wild rod is the name of the manufacturer of the body. I just Googled them. Seems like a professional company. Uh, the premium carpets with all the bound edges, matching mats. There's actually a roll of carpet over there on the floor that'll go with the car. Um, matching seat belts, real nice toggle switches for the windows and the, the trunk. This is the microphone. You're going to hear it in a second. I'm going to start it up. It's an LT1 350 motor, fuel injected, all decked out. Uh, receipt after receipt for just the bolt-on parts, the premium dipsticks, the, the intake cover, valve covers. It's a one-wire chrome alternator. It's a polished AC compressor, aluminum radiator with a fan, electric fan. Uh, it's a Flaming River column, and the whole shaft and all the U-joints are polished. Modern power steering with a remote polished reservoir, smooth firewall. Everything's real neat, clean, and tidy. This morning at breakfast, I read that whole binder. I looked at every page in there as I was having my coffee. Now, the key is hidden in the uh, center console. Again, park. It'll start. Do we got to go back a little bit? I didn't turn on the headlights because I didn't look for the switch. Obviously, it has lights. Wipers even work. So there you have it. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman.
help answer any questions or concerns you have about the car. I gave you my impression. I think it's an awesome vehicle. Uh, I'd love to go cruising in this. I just might. Um, anyway, volocars.com, that's where you get a hold of the guys. Ask them whatever you'd like about the car, the process, the delivery, the financing. They'll help with all of that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the videos. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.